Welcome to Philip Highlights. I'm Summer, and I'm serving you the latest news of the week. Your news, our business. Shares of several US banks fell earlier this week after ratings agency S&P Global followed Moody's in cutting its credit ratings on some regional lenders with high commercial real estate exposure. These downgrades are mainly focused on the liquidity concern as the Fed continues to try to anchor inflation with higher rate for longer. There is no immediate systemic risk on the banking sector as reported. The People's Bank of China cut its one-year loan prime rate by 10 basis points to 3.45%, while surprised the market by keeping the five-year LPR status quo at 4.2% in its August decision. Earlier, the PBOC cut the rates of the one-year medium-term lending facilities by 15 basis points from 2.65% to 2.5%. Moving forward, we expect the monetary policy are likely to stay accommodative, while more expansionary policies to be in place in order to bolster the Chinese economy. Malaysia's GDP growth moderate to 2.9% year-on-year in the second quarter this year, versus first quarter at 5.6% year-on-year, amid weakness in the external-oriented segments. Interestingly, on a quarter-to-quarter -quarter basis, GDP number was in fact stronger, growing further by 1.5%. Moving forward, we expect private consumption to continue to support our country's economic growth. To note, consensus indicates a projected GDP growth of approximately 4 to 4.5% for Malaysia in 2023, while IMF forecasts a growth rate of approximately 4.5% this year. While this year is expected to be more favorable for investment than the previous year, it is important to stay watchful for any market volatility. Fleet Capital Malaysia provides a comprehensive list of products, including discretionary private managed account, a unit trust that are offered to retail investors, high net worth individuals, corporations and institutions. Whether you want to DIY, seek for advice or let the expertise fully handle your portfolio, our platform can cater to your needs and preferred way to achieve your financial goals. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next Philip Highlights. This update is brought to you by Philip Capital, your partner in finance.